In this short video, we're going to talk about linear optimization and models. And we're going to look at a minimization example. When we look at minimization, we're trying to find the least amount of a particular situation that would satisfy our constraints. So let's jump into it and see how we could leverage linear optimization models to find the minimum that would be the best solution for our situation. For this example, we're going to use a chemical company called M&D Chemicals. And what we want to figure out is what is the minimum amount of cost that we can incur to produce the maximum amount of product. So in our spreadsheet, you'll see here we've laid out the parameters. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be producing two different chemicals, product A and product B. Now, as you look at the spreadsheet, it takes two hours to produce product A, and it takes one hour to produce product B. So those are our production constraints. It costs us $2 per gallon, in this case, to produce a gallon of product A, and it costs us $3 Per gallon to produce a gallon of product B. So those are our cost constraints. Another part of our constraints is this. We have a minimum total production number to hit of 350 gallons of product. So we must at a minimum produce that much no matter how much of each product we do produce. And to add to that, we also have a minimum production amount of 125 gallons to produce of product A. So we must produce that much product A. In addition to that, some of product B and keep our costs at a minimum. So that's what we're trying to figure out. Here we have product A, product B, how many gallons are produced. So it's a combination of these two that we want to find out that will work for our solution where our costs are at a minimum. The cost itself we want to figure out, that will be our objective function that we're trying to solve. We want to make sure whatever that number is, it is the smallest it can be to meet our constraints. Here, we're basically saying that for product A, what's provided or produced, it has to be at least 125. So 125 gallons is required. So that number has to be 125 or greater, but we have to make sure we get our 125. And also for total production, the number here could be greater than 350 gallons total of both product but it must be at a minimum 350 gallons. So we have our constraints here that say, whatever we're gonna produce, whatever the combination is, both of them together have to meet these two constraints. Last but not least, the hours used. So we have 600 hours of time to produce both chemicals, product A and product B. Our hours available are 600, so we wanna make sure that we don't go over those hours and we will use this cell to capture the hours that are unused. So if we can minimize our costs within the capacity that we have, we would be in great shape. So that's how this problem is being set up. Now we can go into our solver function under our data selection in Excel. We click on that we get our solver parameters. And these are in here from the spreadsheet that I opened, but I'm gonna walk through them so you understand what's in the solver parameters. So our objective that we set is going to be B16, which is this cell. This cell represents the cost. So this is our objective function. We wanna minimize our cost. And if we click on that, Right now it says zero, which is fine. So that is our sale. The target 
for our minimization problem. The variables that will be changing will be the gallons produced. So we can click on product A and product B, select both of those together, and that will be the changing variables that we will be looking at to make sure we get our minimum cost. Now, with this particular problem, we have two sets of constraints. Now, the first set of constraints deal with the product A and the total production. We say that product A and the total production has to be greater than or equal to these numbers. So product A must be greater than or equal to 125, or we must produce at least 125 gallons. And the total production, we must produce 350 gallons of product for both product A and product B. So we have that as one constraint. And then we also have another constraint. And this simple constraint is that the processing time must be less than or equal to the number of hours we have available, which would be 600 in this case. So we're going to use simplex LP as the solving method. And based on how things are set up, I think we're ready to go. So we will click solve. We will let it do its thing and hopefully it will come back with a solution. And it does. The solution that we have meets our constraints. So we're just going to say OK to that. And when we say OK to that, we can now take a look at what the solution is. Based on the solver functionality, we have 125 gallons of product A that must be produced and 350 gallons of product B that must be produced. And if we produce both of those quantities of chemicals, then our total cost, which is the smallest amount of cost that we could incur based on our constraints, would be $1,300. As you see here, we did provide the 125 gallons of product A. We were required to do that, so we met that requirement. And then we also produced 475 gallons of product A plus product B. In that case, another 350 gallons of product B, which we have here, was added to product A production. So we were able to produce 475 gallons at a minimal cost of $1,300. And we were able to leverage all of the capacity we had to do that. So this was optimized to give us a minimum solution to our problem. <music>